you'd like to exchange your Magic Online cards for event tickets while logged in on Magic Online, you can do so by trading MTGO Academy's official bot, Academy Bybot. You can find it in the Magic Online trading area or add it to your buddy list. Hello everyone, this is Chris Cool with MTGO Academy and I have a special guest on my stream today. Hi Bobby. Hi there. Now, I don't really know what Bobby's claim to fame is, but I think that he's prized in a vintage proxy tournament before. Uh, yeah, one time. So, we are about to play Blue Red Land Still. I think this is a keeper. Yeah, I guess. I mean, the deck has like eight one mana counter spells, but. A time walk into something can't be bad, so. Yeah. And we're on the play. We just really need another blue source. I won't crack this until after our draw step. Okay. Yeah, so we're playing blue red shockwave still. Uh, if anyone's familiar with the vintage online metagame or the classic online metagame. Shockwave has played land still for as long as I can remember, probably for as long as I've paid attention to Vintage. Uh, our opponent has the best mocks, this does not bode well. But um, we copied his list card for card, and I don't actually know anything about it, so there's no... <laughs> That's exactly the sound that played in my head as the second mox was played. Like, if he plays another Mox and just Jaces right now, I don't even know if it's worth playing anymore. Or he's just going to Tinker Blightsteel and we just die. No, no, no. We can time walk into that. You're right. He's Tinkering. That's what those are um, highlighted. Well, Lands this game was fun. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can, like, time walk into... Uh... Black Lotus for Jace, hopefully. Sure. Yeah. I think that's what we have to do. Well. Oh, I guess a blue mox gets us there too. I'm going to play the wasteland because it is less likely to say that we're playing land still. I mean, this could just get countered right here and then I guess we go to game two. That's one of the great things about vintage. Like, great. Okay, well, I'll just go ahead to sideboarding. Yay, magic! <laughs> this deck is not good against unfair openings. But I think we can take out a lightning bolt and bring in a fluster storm. That's exciting. Does Cage stop Tinker? It stops Tinker for Blightsteel. It does not stop Tinker for other things. Why do you... Are you considering bringing in, like, one Cage for a lightning bolt? Yeah, it seems fine. I think we can cut down some bolts, but I don't want to completely remove them. Because he probably has Jace. This is probably just like a value. It's like Keeper, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm guessing so too. Or Jace Raider, as they would call it now. I like Keeper better. This hand is... Garbage. Yeah, but there's a Black Lotus. I'm going to play it. It's just going to do nothing. It's going to sit there. And look pretty. Maybe I can hard cast a Force of Will with it. Ooh. So this deck also, because it has Pulverizes in the sideboard, it gets to play Steam Vents. And playing Shocklands and Vintage is as fun as it gets. Maybe we should play Death Shadow. Uh, Standstill. AJ actually has been talking to me about Death Shadow, but not in Standstill. Well, that's why he was doing it wrong. We'll just wait a little bit while our opponent figures out if his hand can beat a volcanic island and a wasteland. <laughs> or her hand. I unfortunately use gender biased pronouns quite often when I'm recording magic matches. There was some game book that. I read where at the beginning they had a disclaimer saying they were going to do that. I'm pretty sure it was Travis's. 
Uh, Travis is actually so many trolls for those of you that have been following MTGO Academy for a long time. Okay, I'm going to wasteland that underground sea. I can't believe we just lost to a turn one Blightsteel last game. That's like the worst thing to lose to. Are you going to spell pierce that? Nah. We can just pierce whatever it gets. What do you recall? Gross. Yeah, agreed. All of a sudden, I wish we had that misdirection. <laughs> I'm going to play this and pay the life. That sounds fine. See, this is pretty quick to play. You actually just have no options. <laughs> There's blue-red counter burn, except our burn is bad lands. Okay, are we going to see the Ancestral now? I guess he hmm. feared the Pierce. Maybe he knows the Shockwave deck intimately. I mean, it's... Pretty much tier one. Said no one ever. I don't know. I, th I think he's put up the results. Maybe it's like tier one point five. I mean, I'm guessing this guy plays lots of dailies, so he's played against him before. <laughs> well, we're gonna get one free mana from our uh, mana drain. That'll be nice to not mana burn to because the rules have changed. <laughs> it's going to look really nice sitting in our mana pool until we move to combat. Can we wasteland that thing? Yes. Now if you cast oh, something, I can use it to hard cast Force of Will. Boom. I know, right? And the next turn we cast things, our Black Lotus can cast Drain and Pierce, and then we just have nothing. Exciting main phase two, <laughs> two mana. Oh, that's super awkward. <laughs> well, we got into that counter war because I wanted to use my one mana to possibly cast a force of will. Mm -hmm. So. I've been playing at a pretty quick pace. Do you think that there's any point in time where I should have considered what I was doing for just like a moment longer? Oh, that sucks for the spell pierce. I mean, probably not. He hasn't really done anything this game. and I mean, he can assume we're sitting on just a handful of counter spells since we're also not doing anything. Yeah. We actually have more counter spells than any deck in the format. So the real question is, if he casts something that draws cards, like, do I counter it, or do I just try to counter whatever comes after it? Uh, I think whatever comes after it, but I'm not quite sure. I don't know, I'm still not even sure what he's playing. I think it's just Jacerator. Uh, Mystical yeah. Tutor's the top. Okay. Yeah. Haha. Oh. <laughs> Sick rip. Maybe explore. But probably just pay to an ability remove target counter spell from your opponent's hand. I mean, I would happily let this get drained. Sure. 
So wait, can he hard cast blight steel? One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine? No. Not even close. Although I think that he can probably Blacklist gets there. No, he can't Jason hard cast um force. Or he can't yeah, hard cast force and Jace yet. What's he about to do? I don't know. Okay. There we go. Tezzeret. Um probably should counter that. Yeah. Well, he's played. I'm surprised he's played around spell pierce like this entire game. I'm depressed that he's played around spell pierce this entire game. I guess that's what I meant to say. And I think this is about to be fluster stormed or pierced itself. Okay. Well, Tezzeret just resolved. Well. So I have learned that this deck is really bad when it doesn't draw city and still. <laughs> It'd be a little better if we had man lands. Yeah. Okay, are we going to untap stuff or are we going to neg? Because if we neg, then I untap and bolt. Neg, 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 neg. Actually... What would he neg for? Uh, time Vault or Voltage Key. Probably Time Vault. I'm pretty sure we don't want that to happen then. I mean, he could actually probably just beat me if he untaps stuff. Okay, well, we do get to kill this thing. Yeah, I think I want to untap those so I can Spell Pierce with backup. Yeah. What are you, yeah, he got Time Vault. Ooh, that's good for the key that he has in hand. I hope. Yes, I'd love to redirect that. And then let's kill that. So he's playing like the Grixis Tesserator, probably with Goblin Welder deck. Uh, I don't know if he's necessarily playing Welder, but... I mean, why else would he be playing red? He could just have sideboard... Um, REBs? Yeah. Or like some number of bolts. I mean, red is probably... You're probably right. He could play DAC. And, but I guess if he's playing... Oh, yeah. Tinker. Well, it was a fun game. Not really. <laughs> we should probably play that card sometime. <laughs> it seems good. <laughs> Okay, well, since there's actually no interaction I can make with my opponent, and there's no way that the opponent will accidentally kill themselves, I think that it's time to pack it in. I'm sad now. By the way, Bobby chose the deck that we played. Oh, uh, okay, that's cool. Throw <laughs> me under the bus. <laughs> well, we'll see everyone in round two. Goodbye. <laughs> If you'd like to purchase Magic Online cards with event tickets while logged in on Magic Online, look at MTGO Academy's selection by trading our official bot, Academy Cellbot. You can find it in the Magic Online trading area or add it to your buddy list. Oh. No what, Bobby? I want to play Magic. Well, we're playing Land Still. It doesn't get more Magic than Land Still. I don't know. Have you seen Tinker for Blight Steel turn one? Well, in theory, you should be able to interact with something like that. But, you know, you can also only play, like, four of the nine power. Wow, this hand. I think this might be a keepable hand. That feels gross. But you agree? We're on the draw. We're yeah. on the draw. And if I remember right, our deck has 16, 17, 18 blue sources. No, 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 no. We have a library and a strip mine. So we have 16 blue sources. Yep.
but we're gonna rip one off the top. It's always there. To save the Steve day. Steve Vince, Steve Vince, Steve Vince. That's the last one I want to draw, but I'd be okay with it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put S Snapcaster next to Force of Will because it's definitely gonna get pitched to Force of Will. But then our wind condition is gone. No, we have a Mistress factory. Had. Why, you think it's going to die? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Go to five. Go to five. <laughs> nope. I tried. At least we have a mental misstep. I guess the that card's isn't... too good. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, one time. I just like how we're actually playing Magic this daily. <laughs> so, so much fun. Uh, well, it worked. Woo! And we have a win con <clears throat> now. The beats will begin. And we can wasteland. You know, Wasteland is 150 tickets on Magic Online right now. Really? Yes. Didn't they make a promo one? Oh, there was only 32 of them, I believe. Maybe six... No, 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 no. There was like... Uh, probably like 100 and some, but... Or maybe like 300. I actually don't even know how big that MOCS was. There's only 32 foils, is what I meant. Gross. Well, no one uses foils. No sane person. No sane person. Do you think he's just going to double up on them? Probably. <laughs> because that's our luck? Yep, sounds alright. Oh, sweet. Ancestral that we can misstep. If he even has I'm a glad resource. He's... I'm glad he's using the white border one. There's only white Respect. border ones. Oh, they... yeah, they don't make the Homelands version on here. Nope. So what were you saying I hope about he doesn't. playing Magic? Uh, he's not, and we're also basically not. <laughs> I guess I'd let that resolve. No. No, no, no. I don't no, see no, any no. reason to let that resolve, or to counter that with him having an Ancestral in his hand. If he plays a Time Vault next turn, I'm going to be very upset with you. That's fine. A 1 out of 50? Yeah. Did we? No, we haven't lost game 1 yet. Nope. <sighs> wow. Ooh. I was worried we were going to draw blue towards this game. <laughs> you don't even have to cast spells with mana in Vintage. Apparently. So six turns. Woo! One time. Blue, blue source. source. You know what? I'll take it. Look how ugly this is on uh, the new client. They don't have the... A lot of the lands have the incorrect uh, rules text coloring. So instead of like yeah. whatever color they're supposed to be, they're just fifth edition, which is really ugly. My favorite are the dual lands like that. <laughs> yeah, like the ones we have in our deck. I think there's a few. Oh, I was like that too. Um, Today I learned. Volcanics are like that. <clears throat> so are we recalling into standstill, obviously? I think so. Because <clears throat> then we get a blue source off. <laughs> or we don't. Wow. Well, <clears throat> the bolt is going to be nice if we ever see a red source. 
since it's like one entire turn of clock. Yeah. We haven't even seen a fetch land or anything either. Jeez. No, this deck only has five fetches though. Wow. Okay, um I'm pretty sure we just cast stand still. Yep. And then bash face with a factory and a spirit some more. Yep. Which is the one that came into play this turn? Does it not tell me? If you right click them, if you right click them. Are you right clicking? Is it maybe hover text? It doesn't tell me. No. So wait, right clicking doesn't do anything? Oh, okay, there we go. Right clicking. I was left clicking like an idiot. Chris knows his directions. I'm really bad with directions. Well, I thought that I had right clicked and just nothing happened. Yeah. I don't know who I feel more bad for, our opponent or us. <laughs> this is what this deck does, man. Get it get pumped. Like you just draw cards and counter spells and don't draw Don't draw lands. Yeah. You don't draw lands that can cast spells. Ooh, I hope he gives us another beat for one time. Ooh. Good. I was worried. We're just gonna go for the kill. Okay. Or maybe we don't, because we have counter magic that way. Sure, that's fine too. You can do whatever you like. Like he could have. So we are gonna put on the one. Yeah. He could have an abrupt decay. That would be unfortunate. No, he doesn't decay saying non-land. Yeah, but he could kill the spirit. Oh, for the spirit. I see, yeah. I mean, I guess I'm okay with him casting something because we'll probably just draw force of will. Or not. Uh, maybe we should have just Woo! killed him. Like, I'm unsure about that decision. But I think... I think I bring in Fluster Storm and take out a Lightning Bolt. You definitely bring in, you bring in four cages. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Are you serious? Seriously. I was just thinking about the last match. Oh, that's like the best card against Oath. And then we have to take out one other card, though. How good is Mental Mystic, really? It's pretty good. They have... Okay. Uh, they have random artifact mana, they have mental missteps, ancestral, brainstorm, ponder, random one mana counter spell, voltic key, uh, vamp tutor. We haven't seen a single null rod. I'm just now realizing. That's true. Maybe Snap Can we get one of those? I mean Maybe Snapcaster. I actually think null rod's mm -hmm. quite good against Oath because it only plays like sixteen lands. Yeah. Uh, I guess cutting Snapcaster is fine. It gets worse when we don't have a bolt to flashback. I mean, I could also cut Crucible, but... Wasteland near them forever seems really sweet. Yeah, he didn't play... No, he did play a single basic. And he was classy. It was snow-covered. <laughs> Old school. Uh, OG snow-covered. Yeah. <sighs> wow. This hand is going to be really funny. I think it's fine. Are we going to end EOT recall? Or I guess in response to whatever he tries to do, recall? I think what we're going to do is Black Lotus Time Walk Standstill. That sounds fine too. Hopefully not just get okay. I was gonna say hopefully we don't get oathed here. Ooh. This feels good. 
Mental mess up's very good. That's what I just learned. <laughs> I'm glad you did. Are we gonna get oath now? No. Wow. Nope. Sometimes you just have it all. See, this is magic that's fair. Good, clean fun. Wait, are we not over time walking and stand stealing? And ancestral recalling. Yeah. Ooh, I think we have a new plan. It involves cage. I don't think we cage. We don't need to cage with um without an oath in play. Sure, I guess. I mean, I could cage and just try to stand still next turn. That's what I was thinking. But, I mean, either way is fine. I'm just going to stand still now. Wait, he only has two cards in hand. That feels pretty good. Don't cast a thing. Boom. Well, this is standstill. The old get you for three on turn two. <laughs> on your turn one. <laughs> we did draw all of our restricted cards that we played. <laughs> <laughs> Every restricted card in our deck we drew. That helps out a lot. That's pretty funny. Uh, Ooh, get him for four. Okay, so the new one's on top. I really don't like how the lands change positions. It's really confusing for. Why did lands. you do that? Huh? Why did I do what? I uh, I guess either way you do it, it's the same amount of damage. Oh, you were thinking just about double pumping. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Now, though. if he has like a nature's claim, we still get in for two. Doesn't have it. I don't know if you would use it. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Your opponent gains for life and draws three cards. I mean, the standstill has to get blown at some point. Wow. Yeah, this isn't even a real game. Well, if he oath time walks, we're probably screwed. That's why cage seems good. But. That's just such a I mean, small possibility. I know. But the fact that it's a possibility is still scary. I mean, it, like, the, the reason I liked standstill is if he had a counterspell for standstill, then we could cast another yeah. one. Yeah, we can like cage dance till the next turn. I think we're gonna pop it. Nope. Aw, strip mine. Eh, who cares? Okay, there we go. I was just sad that I was going to turn our clock down. Nope. I wonder what fraction of his two cards are Oath of Druids. I'm thinking 100%. I actually want to build, like... A conventional Oath of Druids deck. Like, just, you know, a control, no combo Oath of Druids deck. How does that even work? Well, like, what do you Oath for? Uh, I'm not sure. A zombie? Just so you can draw more cards? <laughs> no, no. But, like, playing some number of creatures that you just can cast. So, like, 
like I tried to do it for classic and it was with frost titans but frost titan just is not good in vintage at all true but something like that like a five or six cast that can just be cast normally thrag tusk <laughs> i don't know if i was thinking about thrag tusk but this riveting match two has come to a conclusion and i guess that we can wait 20 minutes or 25 minutes for the next round to start Woo. Curious about the price of a Magic Online card? Try our searchable price guide on the right sidebar of any mtgoacademy.com page. Well, we're back for round three, Bobby, and I think that I just cut myself off speaking. Woo! I'd love to play first. Huh. Well, I guess this is just library go. I've heard of worse plans. So do you think a mental misstep is enough to not die on our first turn? Uh, maybe? I guess we'll find out. It didn't work last time, so... Sorry, two rounds ago. <laughs> Uh-oh. Whoa, what is this? Verdant Catacombs. We're playing against, like, a Deathrite Shaman deck? Trying on Predator would be annoying. Or Dark Confidant? That card's really good. So do we just stand still turn two? Instead of librarying? Well, I think I time walk first. Well, then... Okay. Because it's just like casting standstill, only we get another draw step and another land. And Fair another enough. land gives us a Mistress Factory to get into play. You mean Wasteland to make sure he doesn't cast. Actually, maybe you want him to cast things. Never mind. So now we have a blocker for Confidant. Mm, not this turn, but yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, after it loses Summoning Sickness. What did he put in this hand? Uh, good question. It doesn't show me anymore. Mental Misstep. No, it didn't. I wonder if he's just going to pop the standstill right away. That seems like what his deck should do. I kind of was thinking the same thing. Well, that's how I feel every deck should do it, but no one ever does. Well, that felt good. Yep. And he can't abrupt decay the factories. Or the sandstone. Bam. Well, he can't. Bam. He can abrupt decay the st Aw, strip mine. Vomit. <laughs> no. The game plan, she is ruined. That was terrible. Yep. Unfortunately, I'm going to bet the average converted mana cost of a card in his deck is low enough that Dark Confidant will kill us first. I agree. Which is unfortunate. I might actually miss my land drop next turn to work towards my... Oof. Library? Yeah. It's going to be a sad day, or, uh, um, never mind. <laughs> so there's still a Verdant Catacombs. Yeah. That 
That was a terrible draw. Words you wouldn't expect to hear when you draw Black Lotus. Okay, so we have six turns. <laughs> Snapcaster. I mean, maybe he's like playing Blightsteel. <laughs> and then we'll just get lucky. Okay, there's that Vert in Catacombs. Woo! I mean, at some point, I guess I'll, I'll have to bolt the Confidant, but I really do not want to. Hopefully it'll be like, oh, yeah. Factory off the top next turn, please. Double Snapcaster, gross. The race is on. We're just a little behind at this point. I mean, like, I can still maybe uh, blow him out. I guess he has a misstep. Or she. I'm doing it again. Gender bias pronouns. You're the worst. Ugh. Oh. Oh wait, he discarded? Gross. Yeah, he's discarding like crazy, drawing two cards. It's gonna be pretty embarrassing if we lose to the Star Confidant. It's looking like we're going to lose to the Star Confidant. You should just EOT bolt it so he can discard three. <laughs> Huh. Hmm. New plan. Continue. <laughs> Trigon Predator. Force of Oh my legs. god. So you're saying there's a chance? Yeah, it looks that way. Do you just EOT bolt him? No, we do it next turn. Uh, I think I crack the tarn. No, I don't. For Because we have Black Lotus. Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, what did... What went away? A death right and a confidant. Okay. Come on, damage. There we go. We're in the kill zone. Just one of these bad boys has to resolve. We're good. Why didn't you play Lotus? Into my standstill. Oh, yeah, right. Never mind, stupid. Forgot the standstill still out there. Well, if you have told me this is how this game would end, I'm pretty sure I just wouldn't have believed you. Do we pay the two life? No, we can't. Gross. Actually, no, because we need to crack a fetch land. I think I just let this resolve. We let him discard. Why? But we still know he has Force of Will and Snapcaster and Misstep. Yeah, so we just let him use one card that he can cast. He just used that misstep, or that misstep. So now he has to discard. And I go get two blue lands. That 
That is interesting. Sort of. It's weird. The moment of truth. Concede. <laughs> you. Bold move. So even if he lives to this, he could just die to his dark confidant now. Yes. Perfect. So then he has a force that we drain. Wow. Is this seriously going to be enough? Yeah, we have double drain, so... Like, I don't know... I don't know how we lose at this point. Yeah, he would have to have two... He'd have to have, like, like uh, two forces and two other cards. And then, <laughs> then any one drop... Then he'd go to them. one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What a deck. This is hilarious. So I don't think that Spell Pierce is great against him. Well, here's the second mm. force. <laughs> Can we just wasteland his trap, please? No, because what if he has a daze? I'm greedy. I don't know what you want me to say. Boom. Dead. Boom. Got him. Wow. And, like, we have nothing to board That's in against wicked. him. Nope. Zero. I guess, no, never mind. Never. Wow, excuse me. Gross. <laughs> never mind. It actually seems nuts. And Fluster's Worm still seems fine. Pretty good. Just take yeah. out Pierce's. Uh huh. Wow, why am I adding the back in instead of Fluster Storm? Because you're bad. Oh, wow, Tommy. <laughs> wow. I just called you Tommy instead of Bobby. Wow, Does Bobby. It... I don't even know a Tommy. Someone needs a nap. I was about to ask if you knew a Tommy, but. Phrase it, go! Uh, let's sort this by converted mana cost. Oh, they're all ones. I mean, Relic is okay against Deathrite Shaman. Meh. Missed it. I don't know, like, what do we take out? What do we see? Null rod? We could take out, like, some amount of Null Rods. That seems okay, I guess. And just bring in the relics. I just know we're gonna draw no rod relic. <laughs> That's gonna get real awkward real quick. I mean, I could take out the last no rod. We only saw one artifact, right? The, I mean, the we sapphire. can assume he's playing Mox or whatever. We, yeah, we can assume that yeah. he's playing like the bug Moxen, but can we assume that he's playing any other Moxen? I don't know. He might be running Vault Key. I don't know. I may actually just do that. I think I'm just going to take out Null Rods, and then if he shows a lot of artifact mana beyond what he showed, then I'll bring him back in. Yeah. This seems okay against his well. deck. None of his dudes are living. Ever. Nor is his land. I think I tried a slow Oops. roll to hit like two things with a pyroclasm. Uh, it depends on what those two things are, I think. I mean, if he just plays a death right, I just play a flooded strand and pass. Oh, 
Or maybe I just get duress here. Yeah, then it's just irrelevant. Or not. That was a good draw. If only we had it last turn. No, I don't think that you missed up a death right when you have a hand like this. Come on, confidant. Hmm. Wow. That's weird. I think I play Wasteland Relic. Yeah, sounds fine. Or, nah, Factory could block still. So then, like, he might want to commit more to the board if there's a Factory. Mm, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, both of these sound fine. Him having zero land sounds fun. I agree. We'll get to it, don't worry. Like, when the death right gets activated, I can just pop my land and then pop the relic. Yeah, I know. Well, there's something. That card's pretty good. Yep. Yes. Woo! Maybe I just like waste his blue. That sounds okay. Like I don't really see a reason to play the second factory. And with the lands in the grave, we already have. Uh... Yeah, Death Rite's already online, so to speak. Yeah. So like, if he makes mana EOT, I just let it happen, and then like I'm saving the relic for a Snapcaster. But if he ever gets yeah. to the point where like. He would be at two mana and adding mana. Uh, maybe I don't. We'll see. We'll see. I think I'm most worried about Jace. Or maybe I actually just... Maybe now is like a good time to just go ahead and crack it. Since... Uh, Why he still has a fetch land? Wait, what are we targeting? I guess that... Wow, it's eating the Ancestral. That was like a godsend. No, it wasn't. That's nothing like godsend. No, it was a godsend, Bobby. Not a bad equipment. I forgot that card even existed. <laughs> so, and you should probably go back to that. It'll be better for you. I feel like our opponent might be playing a round pyroclasm. That'd be smart of him, I guess. Okay, well that's a time walk. Can we kill the death right now? No. But what if he casts a Jace? And then that's pretty bad for me. If he casts a Jace, I probably just bolt it and then attack it with my factory. Never mind. Uh, am I getting baited for like a dismember Wasteland, here? Wasteland, yep. Wasteland plus dismember. Wasteland plus anything. My guess is he just really wants you to crack that flood strand. And you really don't want to crack that flood strand. Yeah, I'll just take the one. 
we'll play another factory next turn, so. Death Rite is not... What if I just get Ninja of the Deep Hour here? That would be... I wouldn't even be mad. You'd be like, this is I'd be awesome! Impressed. Yeah. Vintage. Well, now... Maybe I could just wasteland his underground. Blue. Yep. And then, like, once the death rite gets used, blow my relic. Yeah, did your relic EOT? No, I've not been using the relic at all, like an idiot. Stupid. I forgot it even had that ability. Stupid. Thanks, Bobby. Thanks for being it's a okay. sweetheart. That's what I'm here for. Ugh. Those two different dual lands look disgusting. <laughs> like one looks normal and fine, and one just looks like a Yavamai coast. Wait. Am I just lagging terribly? Yes. I am. I'm going to restart after this round. Woo! Beta! I mean, V4. Ugh. Yeah, it's all we have now. I can't even call it beta. My hand looks so bad. <laughs> yep. The And also the opponent removing their own ancestral was really bad. Okay, I'm just going to take this. You mean really good. I mean really bad for the opponent. Yeah, we don't care about that guy. I'm just commenting on the game. That's cute. Now we have a Snapcaster. Hmm, maybe it's time to start attacking with a factory. What do you say? It probably just, uh, it probably just dies to like disenchant or something, or nature's claim. Yeah, I don't know. Feels weird doing that, attacking into it. It's probably not worth it with only a mental misstep in the grave. Ooh. Well, there's the wasteland. Um. Why? Wait. Why are we eating this? I guess I just go ahead and eat my own. Yeah. Boom. I'm trying to figure out what he would want to cast for like three mana. Abrupt decay on my mock sapphire. Sure. That's a minor nuisance, I suppose. This just feels really weird and clunky. This deck. What's happening right now? Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting my other wasteland. I'm going to just go ahead and blow the relic. Maybe I should have stranded first, or not. Uh, I think I'm going to EOT Lightning Bolt. Like, since I'm going to be red constricted, might as well bait out a counter spell. Yeah.
what's happening. Did I? Yep, I'm just frozen. Okay. Hmm. Is it finally dead? No. Fluster storm. Okay, then I'll just untap in pyroclasm. Which is also fine. I was really hoping to get a two for one by now on that pyro. Wow, that's special. How about three pyroclasms instead? That's all that are in the deck. I know. Okay, I guess the Trigon is coming out. Or not. Or he just doesn't have anything. Woo! Oh, wait. No, I should have killed the black. I should have killed the black, but we're Good freezing. Man. No! I forgot yep. that a Mock Sapphire just happened. Um, but I do think I am going to attack with a Fairy Conclave. No, 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 no. I should attack with a Factory because... Now you saw Bolt up. Um, actually, no. I sh maybe should attack with a Conclave. If I think he has a Disenchant, then it makes sense to attack with a Conclave. <laughs> oh, he has one. I'm gonna. He abrupt decayed. Yeah, but I don't think there's any reason. I'm pausing for one moment. We'll be right back. Okay, dokie. I believe we are back. And yes, that's nice. No lag. So now we get to find out if we're facing dismember or some sort of like nature's claim or something for the I guess we don't get to figure out if we're playing a nature's claim okay it was dismember I made the wrong decision then look what you did I guess I just do it now. Really? Yeah. I guess we'll be shorter on cards in hand. Because it's not really short on cards in hand. I mean, I could do it during the opponent's upkeep. Just to <laughs> deny <laughs> mana. But, like, I'd rather hit my land drop. Yeah. Another red source or blue source would be nice. Okay, got forced. Exiling... Jace. Jace. Well, he had Jace the whole time and just bricked on land drops. So that feels good. Come on, blue. Okay, I guess that works. Um, I don't think it's worth risking the factory for damage when I need one more land to Ancestral again. Yeah. So, I'm going to pass. The real question will be, is it worth EOT Bolt if like a Dark Confidant or something comes down versus untapping and pyroclasming hmm. with like Trigon? I, like, I think, oh yeah, Trigon. Um, I think, I don't know, Bob is scary. Yeah, I mean like. Oh, I guess we have Force of Will, so we can pyroclasm and have Force of Will. Yeah, if we really want. I think you still power Clasm. I think I Clasm too. Like, the bolt's too valuable. Ooh, 
see the, everything worked out according to plan. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I love that art. This has been a pretty intense game. Is this the sort of game that you wanted to see? No, because now I'm just sort of bored the whole time. <laughs> what, did you ex what did you expect with land still? I mean, this is exactly what I expected. But you didn't but expect I expected to respond more to lands. It. We do play 24 land, and our opponent probably plays like 17. I'm just amazed by the like, low number of them. Well, that's slightly annoying. Yep. How did Shockwave ever cast Pulverize? <laughs> uh, just keep two fetches until you can crack them both and hope that that is enough. Yeah, but you have to sacrifice them. Yeah, so they both have to be in play at the same time. Steam vents! No, I, I was would... hoping you would get that. It just looks a lot better. Yes! It's time. The namesake. We're doing it. Please resolve. After, One time. After all of these games, we might be able to play a standstill into a favorable board position. Woo! We did it! How many man lands have I lost? Is the real question. Two. Yeah, just two. Now the fun part, Bobby, where we just attack for two for seven turns in a row. Eight. Oh, I guess you're playing. I'm bumping him to death, too. Oh, then it would be six. I just can't math. Today's really hard for me. I can tell. I tried it's to figure okay. out the difference between hours in the evening and a morning start time and couldn't successfully do it, but neither could Bobby. Like, we were both an hour off. No, I was two hours and you were one hour, but in opposite directions. Math is fun. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We get to we get to draw some cards draw three. here. Woo! And we get a force of will that. Yep. And then hit a land drop. I think... I think I force getting rid of Mental Mist up. Yep. And then you play Library. Because, like, without um, Ancestral in play, Mist up isn't that appealing. Yeah. I, Actually, this is not true. Oh, I just play Tarn. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I play Tarn. Because Library is still out of play. Yeah. And then next turn I can snap um, Ancestral. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. We did it, guys. We got to play a standstill that our opponent had to crack. <laughs> Yay! You won't draw three cards this time. D-N-I-W-E. Oh. Hello there, friend. That was kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. Luckily nothing happened. But he can hardcast a force will now. This is very true. Steam fence number two. Whoop whoop. <laughs> uh, the exciting portion of the game. Uh, 
I don't think we attack this step. No, sabotage. I'm definitely not attacking because I'm going to EOT Ancestral. I like that plan. Well, if that only we had a force. I mean, the drain is fine, so. Here, I'm going to move into vintage right. mode. There we go. My headache hurts a lot more now. <laughs> but you can see the graveyard now. That's true. So I was considering... Well, we are both considering trying to make some sort of vintage face still. But after playing this, I... I definitely do not think that phase still is where I want to be in Vintage. I'm pretty sure I just don't want to be anywhere near a standstill. I'd rather be doing the cheaty things. Instead of the slow, fair things? Yeah. Whoa, flashback, cast with flashback, cast with flashback. Oh, neat. Now I'm if you so hover over someone's avatar, it tells you what it is. Oh, yep. He misstepped. Oh. Oh, well, we have a 2-1. Boom. And he has no lands. Um, I don't know if that matters. I mean, I guess that, that cuts off Abrupt Thanks. Decay. I'm going to attack I think first. it's worth doing it. Well, I would, because I think you can activate Factory with Library. Yeah, I mean, I agree that I could have, but I'm going to... And then to you could have just killed him next turn with the Bolt. But, you know, if you're not into winning or whatever. <laughs> Ouch, Bobby. Ouch. I'm just trying to end this miserable game. Well, like, Flusterstorm? I guess I can't play around flus or Flusterstorm if the opponent casts something at this point. Yeah. The good thing is that Jace is not scary at all right now. Neither is that. Sure ain't. Don't we just attack into that? I think I just bolt it. No, but the bolts were his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Bobby. It's Everything's going to be okay. I don't think so. I just never want to activate library. Why didn't we just drain the d dark off not? Because drain seems a lot better than uh, drain seems a lot better to counter stuff that we're not expecting than a lightning bolt. Ugh, okay. I mean, it could have been that Drain was right there, but I just thought that the, uh, the Drain would be more valuable. But apparently it didn't matter. So we'll be back for the final round soon. Say something witty, Bobby. I got nothing. If you'd like to purchase Magic Online cards at competitive prices, check out our web store at mtgoacademy.com slash store. Bobby, are you in the zone? I'm in the zone. Woo! Round four! So what do you oh, want to oh. do this game? Do you want to like play a bunch of lands and react attack. to everything our opponent does and then eventually attack for two a bunch? Yeah. And if our opponent just didn't do anything, that'd be cool too. <laughs> what if our opponent just waits like 10 minutes, shows up, beats us turn one, and then beats us turn one? I'd probably just never play Magic again. Uh, 
You've said that so many times. Yeah, but imagine how that one would feel. <laughs> Bobby, if you could play any deck in Vintage, what would it be? Uh, not Standstill. Yeah, you can't just negate. You have to choose something. I mean, Exava seems pretty sweet. I've been thinking about playing a Veteran Explorer deck that has Diabolic um, Tutors in it. Or not Diabolic. Um, Diabolic Intent. Diabolic Intents in it, yeah. You know me too well. I mean, that would just be sweet, right? Yeah. And then we can cast Thrag Tusk. <laughs> I don't know if Thrag Tusk makes it into Vintage. Maybe, like, there's a one of in the board. Look, if it can see play in the AC, it can see play in Vintage. That is not true. But if it can see play in Standard, maybe it can see play in Vintage. How does that even work pack rat got it yeah like maybe pack rat would go into this deck that i'm describing well that sounds <laughs> i mean pack rat's already a thing in modern it's basically a vintage all-star then that's what i'm thinking well we'll be back in a moment because i don't want to waste our viewers time with any more idle discourse All right, so our opponent has decided to to show up, and I yeah. think I think this is a keeper, even though it's not very exciting. Like we've got the turn zero interaction, the turn one looked, interaction, and the turn two interaction. It looks exactly what like what our deck is supposed to do. Bore us and our opponent to death. Yep. Like, have you considered, Bobby, that? you may not be having fun because like this land doesn't have a blue box and this doesn't have concentric rectangles that are red and blue that is taking away from the experience i'll be honest and then i'm just sorry that i don't have four null rods that look like this so we're using the the vma border that's that's on me that's not moto's fault yeah that was just a fail i'm sorry Okay, so we're playing against... Do Ugh. I, do I just counter that? I think so. I think so, too, because... I'm afraid. Because I have Spell Pierce, so, like, we just need to live. Well, he did get off to a fast start right away by scaring me on turn one. <laughs> do we just strip mine him? You know what? Yes. Good talk. How are we going to beat him? Yep. <laughs> Nora seems pretty good. We're casting it next turn. Discard, discard. Hercules recall. The joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> He's just playing You yeah, haven't given ever gonna get a chance to cast that. At what turn does he just scoop? I don't know, but I think I start attacking next turn. Uh, as long as you can leave up Pierce, yeah. Which you can. I'm moving into vintage mode. <laughs> There's like three cards. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes I can't tell if you're actually my friend. <laughs> oh, we're playing against Burning Oath. Oh. Today I learned. Well, that's good. That means we'll know to bring in the Graft Diggers cages. Yeah. I think the opponent hates us. But does he know how much we hate him for making us wait? Or ourselves for playing this deck. 
to combo. Oh, and we have a natural um, advantage by playing six man lands against Oath. Part of me feels like we should have just countered that, too. You are crazy. Oh, wait, it actually just does nothing. Never mind. I forgot how Null Rod works. Spoiler. It's good. It's true. Come on, eight more turns. Why did he even bother playing that? Have to discard it otherwise. Oh yeah, he has at eight crits. I mean, he is trying to storm off, so... I'm thinking that we're not going to imprint something. Oh, we did. Necro. This, now he gets two draw stuff, so I'm going to discard. Which kind of seems unfair. Okay, so I have one Tarn, one Flooded Strand, and one Steam Vents left in the deck. If only we had a way to speed up this eight turn clock. I mean, any man. Oh. That's annoying. It's okay, we're gonna draw Wasteland. Or that. I. Th I kinda wanna wait a turn to cast something, or to attack. Uh, I think you're it. fine. <laughs> we, have, we have force plus drain or double spell pierce plus force. Yeah. You were right. Had it. Now he's going to recall. Chris Cool wins! Woo! So I'm thinking Lightning Bolts are pretty bad against Oath. They're very, very... Oh, they're good at killing your 1-1 one, one that you have. I'm thinking we bring in Fluster Storms and, cages and, and a Cage. So what do I take out? We already took out Bolts, so you have to take out one card. So probably the Snapcaster. Snap. Yeah. Because, it, yeah, it does get a lot worse once you remove Bolt. Yep. Well, that was exciting. I can't believe we're alive. I guess that our opponent was going to turn one Necro. Oh, we'll move back into normal magic mode. Wow, this hand looks pretty bad, but it has a Strip Mine in it. And a Force of Will. It has to be shipped, I think. We still don't have any way to, like, do anything. I guess, like, a duress just beats us. Yep. Eh. I don't have a choice. <laughs> we have Pierce, 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 Pierce. Or we're just gonna die on turn one. Looks that way. And we don't even have a dude, it's cool. Yeah, but now we're just dead to that once it hits. It's cool, just pfft, draw a Maelstrom Pulse. <laughs> Are we going to time walk and hope to find Cage? You bet we're going to time walk. We're going to hope to find a land and play a Null Rod. Oh my god, Swan Song and Oath seems nuts. You are right. Why did I never think of this until just now? <laughs> Bullet dodged. I made sure I untapped so he couldn't respond to me fetching.
It's going to be really so, sad when I just lose to a top-decked Orchard. Yep. But you're going to put up a fight. What do you even mean? All the counter spells. Uh... Fighting. I'm doing what you said. Fighting a good fight. Just straight up a graft at your cage, and we're good to go. Listen to me. I'm trying. Okay. Oath number three. Wow, I've got three fetches in my deck and only one target. Stand still really sucks against Oath. Like, just the card, Stand still. That's good. There's, like, no draw except for Stand still on this deck. Yeah, I know. I just stopped playing stuff at this point. Or I guess the opponent starts putting pressure on me because... I have a mini heart attack every time he plays the land. <laughs> well, we've entered the exciting portion of the game where our opponent can cast spells. I'm just happy I don't have to click O with the druids. Yeah. That would not be fun. Okay. Sick. Doesn't he know he has to storm off to win? Oh my god, is he about to hard cast? To... No, wait. Those still can't be activated. Uh, I guess we're going to see a Wheel of Fortune. Hercule. Ooh. Part of me wants that to resolve. Wait, why aren't you just spell piercing? Uh, oh, cause... because I have so many force of wills. Yeah, that's fine. Finally. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, now I don't think we can lose. I mean, there are answers to that in the deck. I don't know if it plays Abrupt Decay main, but... It feels really good knowing our entire hand is counter spells. How about that? <laughs> At one point, magic was like this. You just would have so many counter spells in your hand. Uh, I think I just spell pierce this. I'm trying to think of what he would get. Like uh, the just replicate, it. the replicate, destroy artifact card. Sure. Oh, doggy dog. I mean, maybe there's like a ritual here that I have to counter, which will be annoying. Yep. Uh, I think they really only play dark ritual. Yeah. I still think I counter this. Yeah, you can hard cast force, right? Well, there goes my dream of actually using Library of Alexandria. You just gotta believe. Look, we're not gonna win, but he's also not gonna win, so that's all that matters. <laughs> really, this is the sort of magic that Bobby likes to play. I don't like doing anything. I just like sitting and making my opponents feel bad the whole time. Ooh, piece of candy. Well, that was nice. And now we can activate our library. Woo! I guess I just jace and then look at my opponents. Yep. Wing con established. He can have it. 
Lotus Petal. And then next Both time. should just play Thassa. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. I know, but it'd be amusing. So mean. Feels so right. Well, Bobby, are you sure you didn't have fun? I mean, they're having fun this game. I can't believe we battled back from 01. Neither Hello. Do I. Technically, we haven't won yet. <laughs> Why, you want me to try to lose? Our opponent has two Moxen in hand. We know that much. Or a Mox and a lo Lotus Petal. Yeah, but he has five other cards. And what if they're all really good? Well, then I hope that our five counter spells are enough. Me too. I think that we might see a real turn. From him? Yeah. I think How? I think that the opponents in the tank looking to do something this turn. Is he trying to ritual into Grizzlebrand? <laughs> I don't know, Bobby. Seems like it won't work. You're out. right. I'll go into vintage mode. No, stop. Okay, Wait. I'll, I'll go into dredge mode. Can you move it there? This is how I play when I play dredge against dredge. I didn't know you could do that. Now you know. Oh, wait, never mind. That's not what I thought you were doing. Well, we had a fabulous game of standstill versus oath. and uh, We did it! You're welcome for the sleep aid, Bobby, and all of the viewers that decide to watch this. Nap time. <laughs>